Well, hello, you trader nerds. Sorry I'm coming in a little bit different on my time today and uh, gave very few people a uh, little warning, but uh, it's just kind of a crazy little day today. And uh, so we got a few people in here today. We've got some new folks in here. We've got David Diamond. Hey, David. We got Frank in here. Hey, Frank. Hey, iPhone. Hey, Randy. And uh, real traders never trade alone. They trade with their fellow nerds. So welcome one and all. And you, we have a quiet day on Wall Street. NASDAQ up 41 points, 0.2%. The E-mini's up a little bit more, 0.36%, up 21 points. And it is at the top of its opening 15-minute range. So not a lot of movement today. The VWAP is moving higher and the hourly midband is moving higher. VIX is down into the 15 handle. How about that? AD is very strong at 311, which kind of like yesterday, and I predicted yesterday, right? I said the AD was so strong, expect a run up in the market. You may see that again today uh, with the AD being 314. Volume looks about average for us. So yeah, yesterday we called that really good. Let's look at the big green monster. And go to the e minutes. Look at this, y'all. We are in at an area of uh, resistance at the 59.90. So that's where we're at in the e mini. So it looks like we'll probably play around there for a while. So it may be tougher for the market to bounce out past that, but we'll see if that happens at the end of the day. So we are at the point of being overbought and close to being fairly priced. So we will check on that. Let's see what the uh, NASDAQ looks like. NASDAQ looks like it's got a little farther to run, doesn't it, before we hit resistance there, especially with that little patch right there untested. This price is gravitating toward that. And the uh, uh, point of control being up here is a little more bullish as well. Let's look at the linear regression. Linear regression is popping out of our little downward trend here. So a little area of consolidation. I told you yesterday that this was really bullish. You see these candle widths right here. The bears tried to take the market down, but were unsuccessful. Tried to take it down, unsuccessful. Tried to take it down, unsuccessful. Tried to take it down, unsuccessful. Very bullish here. So it looks like we're going to come out of the downward channel, and now we are in an upward channel in the otherwise uh, longer term uh, linear regression. So everything looks good. So yesterday, y'all, after we got off, uh, the TQQQs were up over 1%. And when I saw that, I looked at it and it looked like it was going to turn around and come down. And so I sold an 88 strike call at 57 days to expiration. And I collected... $247 in premium, baby. Yes, hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Woo. Hallelujah. So I went to my friend Claude, and I said, hey, Claude, it was up 1% today, so I sold an 88 strike call at 57 days to expiration and collected $247 in premium. And Claude told me, told me, nice execution. This fits perfectly with our option strategy. Current position analysis, covered call details. Uh, Told me there, total shares covered now between my two calls are 200. Here's the premium that we brought in. We had a 60 put that we sold at $135 premium, 82 call at 39 days to expiration for $238. An 88 call at 57 days to expiration for $247 premium. So the total premium collected since you and I have started back selling options, which feels so good, baby. Don't it, though? We are option sellers, premium sellers. We have sold $620. So the management rules, we're going to close all three of those when they reach uh, 50% profit. And I've got good to cancel orders in there for all three of them, which is really good. Or we're going to roll them if they get down to 21 days to expiration and they're not profitable, or if they become a 70 to 75 delta and we're threatened, we're going to roll them. And Claude even says, hey, Bob, always roll for a credit. And it said, you still have 38 shares uncovered for additional upside potential. Great implementation of the strategy, collecting premium 
while maintaining up upside exposure. So it makes you feel good when you're talking to, you know, Claude and he's like saying, hey, man, you're doing really good. So then I went on and I said, hey, are we on track with our income generation goals? So it said, let's in, uh, analyze our option income progress. So we've sold $620 this month. Our annual income projections were over 17 cycles, $5,040. Uh, conservative base was $400,447. And if we got really aggressive selling options, we would collect $5,633, baby. So uh, it did the progress analysis, the monthly average need. Our base case is to bring in $420 a month. We have already brought in $620 worth of premium this month. We're exceeding our target by 47%. Current collection rate is $7,440 annualized. Now think about it though. That is only if we collect that uh, at our basis now, that's not meaning that we're going to keep the entire 7,440 though, right? We're going for 50%. So if we could keep 50% of that, 7,440 divided by two is $3,720. Now keep in mind, our trading program is benefits basically from the appreciation of the asset TQQQ, which is based off of NDX, the NASDAQ index. So that's where our main money comes from. But if we can make $37.20 a year just in options, now think about it, on a $77,000 account, that's going to give us a yield of about 4.8%. Y'all, that ain't bad. Because that's not our main strategy. Our main strategy is not selling options. But if you can generate another 4.8, almost 5% from trading options, good. So he says we're well above our projections. Uh, stroke start to income generation. Let's see. Multiple contracts possible. Looking ahead. Need to manage 50% profit targets. Roll at 21 days to expiration. Delta thresholds, FFR signals. So it was kind of cool that we can use artificial intelligence to kind of say, hey, here's what I'm doing. Are we on track? Do we think that we're going to do good? And uh, Claude was fine with everything. So let's look at our little options trades here. So the one that I put on yesterday is up $12. It's up $7 today. I knew that the market looked like it was going to go down. So we're up a little bit. The 82 call. Uh, we're dealt sixty four dollars on that, but that's no problem. It's it's still, it's nowhere near a seventy delta at all. And look at our put baby, put baby, put baby, put baby, put. The put we sold is up sixty two dollars, forty five point nine percent. So this little puppy is about to be a fifty percent winner, and we're about to take that one off. So what we'll do then is we'll wait for another good down day, and TQQQ and we will sell another option. So this is really, really cool that we've got this uh, component to our strategy, right? So everything looks good. So let's see how our hedge looks. Let's see here, cap requirements, uh, ES and TQQQ, we don't care about our bill. So let's update that, go to our risk report. And get everything up to date here. And today is the 22nd, a uh, Friday, baby. So we don't have many hedges at all here, but that's fine. Because what I'll do is I will put something in. Let's see if any of our, uh, let's see, this is 90. That shouldn't be 90. That should be 60. If the market were to crash 20. So we got about $25,000 worth of protection. So if the market crashes, We'll make $25,000. What would we immediately do with that? We would plow it into an asset that had just dropped 60% because it's 3X leveraged, and we would buy the TQQQ for a significant discount. Remember, it'll be hard to do that, but only in the stock market is it hard to buy things when things are on sale. Think about everything else. Uh, if, if you know that 
you know, Home Depot was going out of business and they liquidated everything for 50% off. Everybody be excited, right? You go in there and you buy all the stuff 50% off. Stock market goes on sale. Everybody gets scared except for us. That's what we do. All right. There will not be a Muscadine Mafia session today. This will all that we're doing. And unless anyone's got a question, I will see y'all tomorrow. I mean, Monday, Monday. Y'all have a good weekend. Roll Tide.